What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness and as you can see we have the Gorilla Pod back. As you can see because you're extended from my body. So you can see me holding it in the mirror there. I've got the hybrid Gorilla Pod. I'll just go and get the box to show you. So this is the one that I've got. It was recommended to me by a friend, MJ Fender, Mike J Fit. So I'll put his link in the subscription, uh, put his link in the description and you can subscribe to him. So it's got a spirit level on, so you can see if you're in balance and off balance or currently off balance. I mean, it's something that will probably throw me off more than it will benefit me, but I'll get to use it and get to grips with it. So you might wonder, why the fuck I sound like a duck? So I've currently got a cold. I've had it for three days, four days, something like that. So it always starts with me in my throat and it always, always happens every single year when the sun comes out. It's the change in weather and it just makes me run down. I'm not exactly sure why, but yeah, it's not really stopped me from training or eating. It just makes me extremely frustrated. So I can't be around a lot of people when I'm ill. Um, it makes me a little snappy because I can't breathe and I like being able to breathe. I don't know if you can see where I'm coming from there. But my food and that's been good. I mean, my cut's coming on pretty fucking good, pretty good. Body power about a month away from Body Power Expo, so I will be recording with my Gorilla Pod. I'm so happy for this Gorilla Pod. Finally got it back. I can finally start doing videos every single day, basically, if I wanted to, or two, three times. I mean, two, three times a day. I mean, four or five a week, something like that. But we're going to start a, a little... Um, a little series in this video. So this is where the other Gorilla Pod broke. Uh, Wood Wardio, who's currently not here anymore, he won't be in the videos until Body Power, as far as I know. Uh, he tried to connect it onto the top and uh, it just snapped. It was shit anyway, it's the little one. It can't really handle um, heavier cameras. This can take up to one kilogram, I think. And uh, it's like the proper it's a proper real deal, I'm cutting my head off here, I'm not much of a videographer. <laughs> so yesterday was chest day, so we hit our succulent chest. I haven't bench pressed for two weeks, so the pain on my front delts was absolutely when I woke up, it was so, so bad. Uh, I got up to 110 for five reps, which isn't that good, it's, I mean, my best is about 117.5 for five reps. Um, so, you know, catering on ill as well. Um, I'm not exactly annoyed at that. I mean, I haven't benched for two weeks due to like focusing on dumbbells and a lot of, um, not rotator cuff, but rear delt injuries in my right rear delt, but it all seems strong at the moment. <clears throat> so we're gonna hit the gym today. So I've been doing frequency, then heavy, frequency, then heavy. Um, so last back session was a heavy back session where we did deadlifts, we got to 150 for 5. So today it's a frequency and we don't count deadlifts. So that's where the, my training plan personally has changed. It used to be heavy, 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 heavy. And I do find that's where you pick up injuries due to, I'm not on steroids or anything so I don't recover at the rate that people on steroids do recover. Like my diet's banging and everything, it's all good for my recovery as a natural athlete, but as an enhanced athlete, they can bang heavy, 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 heavy and grow. They could do 20 reps and they'll still grow. So I'm gonna be banging some frequency today, which is around 15 reps, 20, 15 to 20 reps. So we're really focusing on like the form and uh, movement rather than <laughs> Which, you know, like Lex Fitness says, you've got to lift it and not shift it. But I do sometimes think like when you're trying to build some strength and that, you just naturally are going to shift the weight. But I do see where his principles are coming from. And bang, I can't wait for Body Power Expo. I'm so hyped up. I've already spoken about it. It's like next month. It's the 11th of April today. It's currently quarter past one. I had to wait for this to arrive in the post. Bang, as soon as it arrived, I'm recording with it. But right now we're going to make a smoothie that we have in the morning, even though it's ten past one. I've only ate a bagel today. We're going to eat the uh, we're going to make the smoothie, and then we're going to have a bowl of muesli, fruit muesli, 
and two chocolate rice cakes, only one gram of fat per rice cake, and that will catch us up basically, and that'll be our pre-workout meal. So let's go and make the smoothie. So these scales are literally the worst scales that I could ever have dreamt of buying. So these were from Lidl. They do play up quite a lot. It's just the fact that you can take something off and the food, like the weight is still the same. So we're gonna use 110 grams. Oh my God, we didn't reset really it. Oh my God. So I'll just put all the berries in because I don't think there's 110 grams there anyway. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that to zero. So I'm using frozen berries and frozen pineapples. So those are mixed berries. I'm going to use 100 grams of pineapple. There we go, 97. You know what? I'm feeling quite fruit today. <laughs> I'm going to ruin. All right, next up, we are going to put some glutamine and HMB in. All is looking very cocaine-y. All right, next we're gonna add some almond milk um, just to get some fats in before we train as this is very, very low fat. And to be honest, this is very, very low fat as well. It's 1.1 grams of fat per 100 milliliters. So what I normally do is I just like to get enough in to cover it so it'll actually blend because this blender is not the best it's not your uh, nutri bullet so we're going to give this a was now Alright guys, so we added a little bit more almond milk, probably got about 300, 400 ml into that, that's about 4 grams of fat. Remember it is natty fat and it makes it blend easier and then we just blended the shit out of it. See how much I've got for a bottle of cereal. That's actually not too bad, I mean I could fill the rest up with water. I'm not gonna, but I could... I'm only joking guys. So I'm just gonna put that in the recycling basket. Basquet. Now, what we're going to use is this fruit muesli. I'm currently not weighing things really, I'm not, because I actually know how much I need from just eyeballing it. It's that sad now, it's became that sad. So, that's how I'm going to go. So, what we have got. Bam, let's fucking go, bro! All right, there's a pre-workout slash breakfast slash first meal complete. So whilst training, I have branched chain amino acids. I used to have the big PhD bottle, but that's gone missing and I have ordered another. Uh, I think I left it in Sainsbury's or something. Probably on a low carb day or something like that. So next up, we're gonna have two rice cakes and then we're gonna walk to the gym. It's like a 20 minute walk. Uh, walk there every single time, which is really good cardio. So I'll see you in the gym.
so dry. I don't wanna lose that somebody. Somebody